Hello all, welcome to this session. In this demo, we are going to see how to deploy war file onto Tomcat using Jenkins. For that, I have set up a T2 micro instance. So let's connect to it. Let's connect to the instance now. Perfect, we are connected now. Switch to root user and update the app repository. Now let's install Git, Maven, and Java. This may take few seconds, so let's wait. Now let's check whether they are installed or not. Perfect. Maven is also installed and now let's check the Java version. Yes, they are installed now. Now let's set up Jenkins in this. We have to visit a site called Jenkins.io. Let's go. Now if you open the page Jenkins.io, click on download and scroll down. As we are using Ubuntu Linux OS, let's select this and add the packages which are required to install Jenkins on our server. Copy these two commands, paste the commands here. Now let's update the repository and install Jenkins. Now let's check whether Jenkins is installed or not. So use this command service Jenkins status. If you can check here, it is up and running. Let's check whether it's running perfectly or not. Copy the public IP of the instance. and paste here Jenkins runs on port number 8080 and let's check it's perfect Jenkins is up and running and uh, the administrator password is available in this location copy the location if you use this command cat followed by the location it shows the password administrator password copy this paste the password here Now install the suggested plugins. This may take few seconds, so let's hang on. So set some username as you prefer. So I'm choosing it as admin and some password. Okay, and save and continue. Save and finish and start using Jenkins. This is how our dashboard looks like. Now let's set up the Tomcat server. For that I have launched another T2 micro instance. So let's connect to it. Now we are connected to the instance and let's update the app repository. Now let's set up Tomcat server. 
so that uh, i have visited this page and uh, we can download the version that we desire and uh, have chosen tomcat 9 software so if we scroll down we can find zip file and tar file as well so i'm choosing tar and copy the link address and paste it on our terminal use the command wget for the url which will download which will download the tar file and uh, we have to extract this tar file yes use the command tar hyphen next visitor followed by this tar file name you can see we have successfully extracted our file and uh, for the simplicity purpose let's move this apache tomcat 9.063 to just tomcat folder use the command mv we can see now it is moving to tomcat okay so we have to install java so use this command apt install open jdk i am using 11th version Using this command, we can start Tomcat. In order to access our Tomcat in the external browser, we need to make some changes in the context.xml file. So let's find those files. So we got some files, and uh, we need to make some changes in manager and post manager file. So let's edit that file. As we can see here, this is accessible only in the server which we are using. So for external availability, we should make these changes. Use hyphen hyphen greater than symbol that's it colon wk and quit and similarly we need to make changes in manager file too insert give the value less than exclamatory hyphen hyphen and at the end give hyphen hyphen greater than symbol Escape colon wk. Yes, in order to log in to our Tomcat server, we need a username and password. So we should set that now. Now let's go to configuration and file. We can see Tomcat users.xml. We have to update in this. So let's edit that. insert we scroll down we have to give username and password and password here so username i have given as admin and password also i given as admin and roles i have given him for scripting and uh, we can use the interface also so you can give any user any number of usernames and passwords and uh, limit his access using this so let's escape and quit remember the username and password 
so now let's access tomcat copy the public ip of tomcat server paste it and give port number 8080 so we have logged into tomcat page and uh, go to manager app give password and uh, username that we have given just now admin and admin so now we can able to access the tomcat page now let's go to jenkins and create a job and uh, deploy our war file onto the tomcat server let's go select the public ip of the instance of jenkins server and give port number 8080 yes it has logged in and uh, we give username as admin and password So we successfully logged into our Jenkins. Now let's set Java and Maven home paths. For that, click on Manage Jenkins. Go to Global Tool Configuration. And if you scroll down, you can find at JDK. So give name something like Java Home. And uh, the location is user lib jvm java login open jdk which we have installed you can find in this location and uh, for maven give some new like to underscore home and home path is user share maven and apply and save it for deploying war files onto tomcat we need a plugin called deploy to container we can find it in manage jenkins go to manage plugins and uh, if we click on available and uh, search for deploy on container we can find but i have installed already i will show you see this is the plugin deploy to container we have to install this so that we can deploy our warp. let's create a job in Jenkins now click on new item give some sample name and we select I'm selecting freestyle project for now click on ok and uh, select the git repository Actually, I have war file directly, so I'm deploying it directly. Uh, in case if we have source code, we use build and uh, we use invoke top level Maven targets to build the source code into an artifact and then deploy into Tomcat. So now, as I have war file directly, I'm deploying it into Tomcat using the plugin called deploy to container. So select this and uh, the files that we want to publish or let's enable to search all the files where war files are present and the uh, context path uh, you leave it as empty and uh, tomcat we gave it as 9 and uh, we should add the credentials like uh, username is admin password is admin id is tomcat id and description tomcat grids add it select the tomcat credentials and give the tomcat url Give the public IP colon 8080. Click apply and then save. And now build the job. We can see the job is running. So let's go to console output. See the job is successful. 
if the job is successful and uh, if we see in a workspace the var file name is goldsmith app so note this application name and let's go to console open tomcat server select the public ip give the public ip and uh, the port number 8080 by our application name goldsmith app If you can see we are successfully able to launch our application this is how we deploy our war files onto tomcat server let's meet in the next session and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you